Hi my cyber angels, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back to the channel and uh, thank you very much for liking and sharing all the videos and coming into the life and if you are new and you've just landed on this page or this channel uh, welcome to this channel and I hope you will enjoy the readings and remember I also do weekly readings that's just one video for all the signs for every day and this is the personal reading for you for the whole week for your zodiac sign I'm just making a general introduction video so I'll try to keep it short as there is also new stuff news um, welcome like I said and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be informed um, uh, or notified rather when something new happens when I go live or when new videos are loaded up there are also romance readings every month and uh, weeklies and uh, a separate one for all signs just see what resonates with you and take it from there and the news is that um, I'll be going live on face uh, on Facebook on Sunday the 2nd of August and it is on the page of online well-being mind body spirit fair the 2nd of August so join us there it is at 11 till 1900 British Standard Time and on the Eastern Time it is 6 o'clock in the morning until 1400 and I'll repeat that 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the evening British Standard Time and 6 o'clock till 2 o'clock Eastern Time and I hope you will enjoy that there are loads of cyber stalls because uh, there are a load of participants that are selling their wares or showing you uh, what they do like tarot readers uh, Reiki Masters, Meditations, I'm coming in with the Lenaman. So come and join me, I'm going live at 12.40 um, that is um, the uh, Dutch time and 6.20 in the evening till 7 o'clock um, also so keep a scout around you can find me under Charlie's Angel and uh, perhaps the times might be different so excuse me if I got the time wrong because in England it is an hour early and it's an hour later for me so please join me in the online well-being mind body spirit fair tomorrow the 2nd of August and that is one bit of news and the second bit of news is that I have got a new page it's called Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook and there um, we can interact really much better than just the chat and there will be meditation groups uh, workshops uh, other things happening there it is a private group so remember that if you do join you don't have to join in all the live sessions but it is called the rooms or the space and there you can see each other but you can always uh, switch off your video camera and take place so um, if you do join that group please respect the privacy of others and I do not take uh, uh, discrimination or of any kind or pesting likely then one will get disqualified deleted without notice or warning so if you would like to uh, join the private group then please join us and I've also got out two new reviews on two books uh, which I'm going to use with an English witch and a Dutch witch I'm going to make the new series with Wendy um, on the, the healthy witch and the workplace spell and um, everyday magic on the job so have a look at these two reviews and see if you would like to join me with Wendy or with the other witch the Georgina 
in English there will be in two languages and there will be a new series so I'm doing a live review on YouTube with Wendy and with Georgina so here we go and we're going to start off with your reading thank you for being here and remember this is a general reading if it doesn't resonate with you then please look at your moon sign or your rising sign I love you love from cyber mom and big cyber hugs and I hope to see you back if you're a cyber angel in the live sessions and if you can't join us because of holiday or any other reason enjoy your holiday stay safe and stay well Hi Pisces, this is your reading for the 3rd till the 9th of August. The first card you have on the 3rd is Judgment. Judgment means a new beginning or a second chance as Gabriel is blowing life into the rising dead. They have lived before but they're getting a second chance. So for some of you this could be a totally a new beginning or a second chance at something. Let's say that you were laid off and the company thought they were going bankrupt. This is just hypothetical but they've made a restart and they're bringing back the old employees. So this is your second chance um, coming back to work in the same company. Whoa! I hope nobody is in such a situation but it is very possible as everything is really up in the air at the moment with lots of companies. Now you have the page of arrows and the arrows represent swords so something will become clear to you. The page of swords, the page of arrows is Aquarius so you might be meeting an Aquarius or you might be getting back together again and giving it a second go, a second chance. Pisces, um, but the page also means news. This news could be coming from, uh, 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 like I said, an Aquarius, but don't exclude a Gemini or a Libra. Something will become clear to you. This news will clarify um, um, your situation for this new beginning. Like I said, the company that you have worked for uh, laid you off because they went bankrupt because of the situation, economic situation at the moment and they made a restart and you are being invited back and made clear why they are restarting and how etc etc or you could be meeting an air sign in the middle of the week you have the seven of swords wow so somebody might have taken something from you and look at this man, he's looking towards the new beginning or a second chance. Um, so somebody, or this could also be a lady, somebody took something and left you high and dry. Now um, perhaps they are coming back to say sorry and they have sent you some news that they wish to talk to you to make it clear what, why they left so unexpectedly. So if it is with regards to work, um, you will get notified and things will become clear to you midweek. If somebody has left you in the relationship or partner partnership sphere, then they will come back and make it clear to you um, what happened. Let's see what else is being said here. You've got the King of Vessels. The King of Vessels is a Cancer. So it could also be a cancer that is returning to you because they do care because the cups stands for love, passion, caring, nurturing, sensuality and sexuality. The king is a status. This could be a woman or a man like I said. Um, it is it is a general reading so if you would like to have more information with regards to this I suggest you get an ex expen uh, extensive private reading now this uh, this person does care about you and would like to have a second chance but he would like to have a chance also <laughs> to bring things out into the open as to why he cared 
he cares and why he's back and why he did what he did or she did what she did. Something will become clear as the swords stands for clarity, communication, wisdom. Perhaps they've wisened up and know that they've done wrong and they miss you as much as you miss them. And they do, um, perhaps they needed time to think about things and put everything in a row. And they will be returning to return something that they have broken or taken with them that doesn't belong to them. Like perhaps they might have taken something physically, um, but also mentally. And they are, uh, because the swords also stand for wisdom, thoughts, um, they might uh, bring back clarity and take away the sadness and the pain that they caused. They have come to realization because the king of vessels, cups, is a nurturing man and perhaps they have water in their chart or they are cancer. Remember we are made out of more aspects than just a zodiac sign. We've got our rising sign and we've got our moon sign. So Pisces, you have victory. After everything becomes clear to you, you have victory as you have the chariot. They are giving you recognition, but you've also got recognition from the environment or community around you. Victory is definitely yours. You are the champion. You've stood your ground. You have handled this situation in the past um, like a champion. You just carried on, moved forwards and upwards. Do you really want them back if this is the situation? Can you trust them again, even if they bring their excuses and love and care back? It is up to you. And also the chariot represents cancer, like the king of vessels. You might be going on holiday or you might be moving home as well, as the chariot means movement forward and away. You are leaving negativity behind you because you can't see nothing but positivity, the black and the white. You have weighed everything up and down and you're in your strength. You've got victory. Wow, absolutely amazing. Although this is the reading for Pisces, um, remember um, you. this could be concerning a Cancer. But with the King of uh, Vessels, uh, it does mean the Cancer, but don't uh, exclude Pisces or uh, Scorpio. And the Air, the Page of Air, can be Gemini, Libra or um, Aquarius. The Three of Stones, you've got the Three of Stones, the Three of Pentacles, again recognition. You're no longer the apprentice, you are the fully fledged uh, qualified person. You've got it, like I said, you're the champion, you have come full circle with regards to that. They, These cards are so beautiful and here you are, she, has, uh, she is rooted to where she is. You are staying where you are. This is what I'm getting to know um, or see um, in my vision um, that you, you, if it is with regards to this company, let's say this company or the situation, you were rooted and you felt safe. So I think you will be forgiving them and taking that second chance, but you will take it slower and steady not as uh, not a race you don't think it is a race um, but you will take it steady and slowly because this is cancer and this is cancer and the water uh, flows where it nothing else can go you can get into nooks and crannies um, and what I'm also hearing here is don't uh, put salt on every snail let go with the flow take it easy if this person is coming back that's been unfaithful or untrue to you or left you in the high and dry 
give them a second chance if you do love them and you want them back but take it step by step and don't make a race out of it because you are in your strength you are strong in your position this moment and at the weekend we've got the eight of wands and the eight of wands means again news lots of things happening also you might be traveling or going on holiday you could even be crossing water wow this is cyber news email text message telephone call so somebody might even call you up and say can I meet up with you because I need to talk to you tell you the truth and the beautiful last card we have is the Sun again the Sun stands for fertility the ground is fertile to start something new and to make it grow this could be a birth of a child this could be a birth of a project like a relationship a new job or a restart in a job you are in the spotlight you are being recognized big time not only by the Sun but by the, the, the chariot the three of the stones the three of Pentacles there could be a Leo as the Sun represents Leo and like I said you could with the Sun it could be a new home a new relationship but in this case it could also be a restart in a relationship from the past and the past could be yesterday it could be a minute ago or it can be even a week or a couple of months ago and in this case I think it could be up to eight months okay because Leo is the eighth month and you've got the eight of ones a double number make sure you take it step by step and don't let it just be passion um, if you want this relationship to stand in good stead make sure uh, what the other person wants when they come back and they tell you their story and make sure that you sh tell them what you want and what you expect and find a compromise in on that path okay um, like I said there could be a birth of a child or a new project there could be also a next level in the relationship perhaps this person left you all of a sudden without explanation because they had um, um, a phobia and um, they were scared to get hitched up getting married and now they're ready because the Sun means going up to a next level like if you've been going out then you might m might be uh, getting engaged or from getting engaged to getting married that is what the Sun means taking the next level also the Sun is a spotlight so you are in a spotlight like I said but it also illuminates so you need more information if they come back then make sure that you get all the information and that you're not uh, no stones are being left unturned that is what I'm hearing you might even do some research perhaps get some advice from an older person although we haven't got the Hierophant or the Emperor here or the Justice card but um, if you need to take it up to a next level and you're not certain listen to your intuition then make sure that you ask um, a, a professional help or somebody that is um, uh, an arbitrator or a mediator and keep it cool keep it cool don't fire up like the Sun otherwise there will be arguments and disagreements and you won't come through the discussion with a solution then they will run away as fast as they came <laughs> okay now for the last uh, for the overall energy we have the moon and that is your card Pisces you represent the moon again you are in the spotlight the Sun the moon and the star are spotlights they are 
in the linen mum, the moon also shines on your path, gives you light on your path to find your way through the darkness. In other words, things that you don't know. Do the research because it is the spotlight and also illuminates something. You need more information. Now, the Eight of Hearts means the Eight of Cups. And this is the, um, the, um, the card in, uh, in Tarot that you uh, uh, want, uh, you're bored with the same routine. So you don't want the same habits and the insecurity. You want adventure, you want excitement, but you also want truth and com uh, communication and guarantees as much as you can have guarantees. Because there are no guarantees in life. You might be out of balance because of all this situation, what's going on. Because 32 is 5, okay? So make sure that you don't throw old shoes away before you get more information so that you can start your new beginning. So don't throw the old away before you have all the information for the new beginning. Wow think about it take time out and contemplate <coughs> excuse me the angel feather you have is the rose rose angel feather or rose angel feather a blessing for your home the angels have heard your invitation to be present in and around your home they are about to bestow blessings of love on your home and its occupants so perhaps they are bringing them back to you. It could be a blessing. The rose angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of angelic house blessing. The angels know that home is where the heart is. Within a loving home there is deep affection, patience and true love. Like I said, now they realize what they have missed and they are sorry and they would like to clear the air and tell you what and why they left. Children are taught the importance of sharing love, kindness and respect. The angels bestow this blessing to your home to balance energies within it and to protect it carefully placed rose quartz specimens throughout your home will maintain this loving angelic energy. Remember each night to call in the archangels and angels to stand guard at your door. The angels love to be of service and love happy, healthy, loving homes. You can wear pink, you can meditate on rose and you can also wear it. Make it part of your life, your, your, your heart. The, the pink is also the color of the heart besides the green. And that is Archangel Shamuel. So call upon Archangel Shamuel to assist you. Now open up your heart. Open up your solar plex and your mind to new beginnings. <coughs> a second chance don't throw away what you have uh, by making hasty decisions take time I hope you've enjoyed this reading and I hope it resonates with you if it doesn't have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign stay safe enjoy the week and see you in the life ciao ciao love cyber mom thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and i'll see you in the life monday wednesday or friday ciao ciao